y'all, welcome to my channel where I'm going to be diving in to things that interest me and hopefully helping you guys learn about those things along with me. So today I'm going to be talking about the origin of the jack-o'-lantern. If you hear noises in the background, that is my dog, she's in her crate and it is too windy and rainy to let her outside. So we're just going to have to power through. Also, you can see my lights in my glasses. Sorry about it. Too lazy to get up <laughs> move those so that you can't and or put my contacts in. So, we're just going to deal with that. The practice of carving jack-o'-lanterns was originally not done on pumpkins. Turnips and potatoes were the two original vegetables used as jack-o'-lanterns. So the name jack-o'-lantern actually originated from an old Irish folk tale about a man named Stingy Jack. The story goes that Stingy Jack invited the devil to have some drinks with him at a local pub. When it came time to pay for the drinks that they had had, Jack stuck true to his name and didn't want to pay for the drinks that they had consumed. So he convinced the devil to turn himself into a coin. Well, when the devil turned into the coin, Jack decided to keep it instead of paying for the drinks. And when he kept it, he put it in his pocket up against a silver cross, which prevented the devil from turning back into himself. Jack eventually freed the devil from his coin form back into his original creepy devil form. <laughs> and when he did that, it was under the condition that the devil would not bother Jack for an entire year and when Jack were to die, the devil would not claim his soul. The year after the coin incident happened, Jack convinced the devil to climb a tree for him to pick him an apple from the tree. But when the devil climbed the tree, Jack decided to carve a cross in it to prevent the devil from ever coming down. Well, when the devil... Nope, not the devil. So after Jack had carved the cross into the tree bark, he made a deal with the devil. In order for the devil to get down, Jack could not be bothered for another 10 years. So, shortly after Jack made this second deal with the devil, he passed away. Well, when he passed away, his soul ascended to the gates of heaven, and he was refused because of the way that he lived his life. Well, then after that, his soul descended to the gates of hell, and the devil stuck true to his word and refused Jack. But he didn't send Jack away empty-handed. He sent him away with one single burning coal to light his way. Well, instead of carrying the coal around with him in his hand, Jack decided to put it into a hollowed-out turnip, making a lantern for himself to light his way as he wandered eternally on earth, hence the name Jack-O-Lantern. Because of this legend, in Ireland, people started to carve their own creepy faces into turnips and potatoes to put them on windowsills and by doors to help ward off all the evil spirits, including Jack, that were wandering around town, especially on All Hallows Eve. So how did we go from carving turnips and potatoes to carving pumpkins? Well, it's pretty simple. When the immigrants from Ireland and Scotland came over to America, they brought the carving tradition with them, and there was an abundance of pumpkins, so they decided to start carving pumpkins instead of turnips. So, make sure around the Halloween spooky season that you carve your own jack-o'-lantern to help ward away the evil. definitely in the Halloween spirit today. I don't know if you can hear the howling wind over my crazy dog in her crate, but it's pretty insane. So I know this video probably isn't very long, but it was something that I was interested in 
hopefully I taught you guys something. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys know of any other creepy, spooky Halloween legends. Maybe I'll look into it next time. Remember, be kind, spread love, and stay curious. See you next time. Bye-bye.